The following is a production of Learfield Sports. The Badger Hockey Digest, presented by Charter Communications. Hi folks, welcome to the Badger Hockey Digest, brought to you by Charter Communications. I'm the radio voice for Wisconsin Hockey, Brian Posick, and we're in Mike Eve's office here at the Cole Center, right on the bench. You know, this is where you do most of your work right here, and oftentimes I wonder, do you ever want to just hop out and help out? Uh, people talk about, uh, you know, having a stick long enough that we could help out from the bench, and, uh, you know, this past series against uh, St. Cloud, uh, where we didn't score many goals, we we, uh, we talked about that a little bit, <laughs> trying to help our own players out. Yeah, this past weekend against St. Cloud State, the Badgers fell on Friday 5-1, and then were in a battle on Saturday and played very well before losing 2-1. to one. Mike, you generated offense. You had some quality chances, but as we've seen in the past, this season and other seasons, sometimes a goaltender makes a difference, and for St. Cloud State, Mike Lee was the difference. Well, a goaltender could be the old equalizer in this game, uh, and uh, Mr. Lee was like that uh, for St. Cloud. He came up with some big saves. Uh, I mean, we took a look at the, the stats after the game. We outchanced them, outshot them, uh, didn't get the timely goal, and as a result, we, we, we looked at ourselves and we had lost both games on the weekend. Yeah, Mike, you went into the weekend talking about generating yeah. more offense, though, so you did that. Even on Friday, you had chances, too. Uh, it, was a, it was a point of emphasis out of coming out of, uh, you know, North Dakota because we didn't, mm -hmm. we feel like we didn't produce enough shots and scoring chances. Uh, we worked at it all week, did a great job, um, and, and went out and actually got the shots he wanted, got the scoring chances. But isn't it interesting after we do all that, there's still a factor that's out of your control, and that's the goaltender for the other team. And for those that don't know about Mike Lee, this is a young boy that uh, played in the National Development Program, right. uh, played at the Under-18 World Championship, was drafted by Phoenix, was, was hurt early in the year. He's a very fine young goaltender and very capable of what he did this past week, and it just happened to be against us, and uh, we couldn't find a way to figure him out. Yeah, unfortunately, we've talked a little bit too much about disappointment this year the attitude of your young men as we head down the stretch here well it, it, it's interesting because it's I talked to Steve Alley who was a former player here back in the 70s we won a national championship together and we talked about uh, the growth of a team and, and he remembers the year that he went to the Olympics in 76 we had a really young team uh, Bobby Souter was on that or, uh, Bobby Souter was on yeah. that team and uh, we had a tough year. We, we lost a lot of close games. But the following year, Steve came back, Mark Johnson came in, and all the lessons that we had that year cultivated together. And we had a very outstanding year and ended up winning with a, with a national championship. So you go through times like this. And the attitude on Saturday night by the coaching staff, well, there's one or two ways we can go here. We can either fold up the tent and go home or we can say, you know, damn it, we're going we're gonna to stick our noses out there. We're going to come back to, to week next, this week here and have a great week of practice and get better. And then we got Denver coming in here. And, you know, we can only control what happens Friday night versus Denver, and that's our next focus. The Denver Pioneers, a good team right in the mix of things in the WCHA as they try to clinch home ice. And we'll talk more about them as we move along here on the Badger Hockey Digest, brought to you by Charter Communications. Charter built this facility on the international date line to literally have one foot in the future and bring you technology like the Charter Bundle, the most powerful internet, TV and HD, and Charter phone. And if you sign up today, yesterday where you are, there'll be a $200 credit waiting for you in the future. We continue with Wisconsin hockey coach Mike Eves on the bench at the Kohl Center. And Mike, just standing here, and I've been here a couple of times, but not like you have for 400 games. You know, when you're on the back step here, you can't see the entire ice, especially each corner, can you? No, it's uh, probably one of the worst seats in the building. And even though we're elevated, when we stand back here, uh, it's tough to see down at this end. you got the other, other coaches and yeah. players standing up and down here. So really, we, we, we don't get a true understanding of the game until we get a look at it in video. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, look, to say the least. Mike, um, you know, you're a young club. It's young. And people say, well, you, how long is that going to last? How long can you talk about the youth of a hockey team? Still, right. you have nine freshmen. You have 20 underclassmen. From the start of the season to where it is now, it's grown exponentially, hasn't uh, it? We, we said it last week watching our guys do practice. Man, we've come a long way. And, uh, you know, it would be nice to start the season right now. We're at, that's not the case we're in. 
um, but they've come a, a great distance. And the fact that when uh, John Ramage's father, for example, doesn't get to see many of our games, he saw one in the beginning, he saw this past weekend, and he said to John, great growth by your team. So, you know, th that's a good thing to hear. I think the fact that when we go off the ice, you know, fans are encouraging our guys. We may not be getting the W's or the number of W's that we want, but they see the guys are busting their, their backsides on the ice. They see that they are getting improvement. So they see that growth themselves. I think that's why our fans are still with us as we leave the ice. They're encouraging our players right now, which is good to hear. Yeah, The goaltender is growing too. Joel Rumpel started eight straight games. Landon Peterson got a start in the finale against St. Cloud State. Goaltending was a question mark coming into the season. Yeah. How do you think they've developed? Oh, they've grown as well. You see the, the way that they're controlling their rebounds, the way they handle the puck better, mm -hmm. uh, the way they're challenging more. Uh, and they still can get better in those areas, but their growth has been just as much as their other young teammates in this year. All right, the Badgers will host Denver in the final regular season series, home series of the season. And uh, looking forward to it, too. The Pioneers have Jason Zucker. They have Drew Shore, their head coach, George Gwazdecki, a former teammate of Mike Eves. They always seem to play well here. I'm expecting a couple of packed houses for that, those well, two games. Yeah, there was great energy on Saturday night. And, uh, you know, now this is kind of hockey season. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a lot of home games in the fall, but now it's hockey season. Season. It's cold outside, and the crowd on Saturday was great. And I, I agree with you, Brian. I think there'll be a couple of big crowds this weekend where, when we play Denver. And with the playoffs coming up, too, it's time to get on a little bit of a roll as well. And, you know, and back, get that feedback, that positive feedback of a win when you play well. Uh, this this team has not given up. They uh, they have great pride, and uh, we'll, we'll be uh, getting our fannies ready to play against Denver. There you go. The Badgers and the Denver Pioneers Friday night and Saturday night. Both games start at 7.05. You can listen to the games on the Badgers Sports Network if you'd like and get tickets to it at uwbadgers.com or by calling 1-800-GO-BADGERS. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest brought to you by Charter Communications.